Hello friends, welcome back to e-commerce project in Laravel. In this video, we can continue like a edit product inside uh, some other dynamic fields. Means uh, like right now we added size. Suppose I need to add a more size. So I will click here so we can add a more size. After I click on the delete, so you just remove this like uh, whatever size here is showing. So we don't want to show. So this is the work in this video. I can show you how we can do using the jQuery. So it is a good so you can learn something new about today like how we can make like a multiple text box like this click on the add button and you can append here and after you can click on the delete button so you can remove this multiple buttons i already opened my projects you can see it here and also i have opened the here projects okay and you are new in this series otherwise in this channel so please subscribe and please press the bell icon so, so you always get a notification and you always get a new video whatever i will upload inside uh, my channels i hope you can subscribe and press bell icons so let's start now and i can show you what we can do it here so just we can go to like uh, resources inside views inside admin inside products inside you need to go to edit.blade.php to so here our code there so whatever edit product inside there this is the code we did here I think you are following this so you can easily understand okay so this is the you can see it like size let's make some zoom out so you can see it proper way here is a like a size so you can see it like a size okay so we don't need a like a last two just removing last two and just leave it only one and just remove the like a like a delete one also we don't need okay so just refresh the page so you can see it here now here is a like a name price and add okay one row automatic show so but do you want to add a, like more size so you need to press like a add button so here is the need, need to find out new one so let's create an event for the add and we can create for the jquery okay so we need to provide here is a one class add size is a class name like a add size so let's go to down and copy these words like a add size class and just you can copy like above one also body delegate otherwise i can type and show you how we can do it dollar body dot delegate dot add size click and function okay let's make a alert so we can understand here is a, our event is available cannot available event so we can understand easily this is the point otherwise no any point let's go to add size and also you can make type is equal to button don't forget otherwise type is equal to you not make so it's a form is submitting so i just request you can make always type is equal to button okay so here we have did make a delegate and we click event we have right here once you click one so is a alert is a pop-up so let's save these files and just go back and refresh the page and after i click on the add one so you can see the alert working very well no issue now we need to create our html so just we need to create a one html okay where html is equal to blank okay so just go up and we can copy all like whatever we did here just you can copy these parts okay it's very easy to copy just go down and you can put it here inside html and here you can change like a add size to delete size and here you can put like a deletes okay and here you need to do like a okay everything is good now we can make slash n slash n so it's in slash n slash like so it's a we can concat here like a string okay so this is the we need to append inside a tier body so we need to add a one id here i can show you okay just go back again and here you need to put like your id inside t body id append size okay just copy this class i means id means id name and just go down here you need to make like a dollar hash dot append this is the event for append okay and you can put here like a html let's show how it's look show it's working not working okay so just go back again and refresh the page 
and I click on the add so you can see it's working very well you see proper way works like a pending so what you are making like a POS system so do you want to add more items so you can click here so automatic add more item same like this work this ones but is a delete not work and also I need to change the color about the delete so just you can type here like a dangers because we already installed like here a booster plugin so automatic works okay just go back again refresh the page after click on the ads and you can see it here delete button but I will press the delete button is not deleting okay so what we need to write we need to create a one default i variable suppose where i is equal to 100 okay sorry 1000 i can suggest you always do i is equal to 1000 because of once i will save this all the data and after we need to show here like before whatever size adding here so we need to show here is like an array wise so this is the array we can start like a one two three four five so it's better we can do here array like a one thousands so please start like a one thousands okay i can suggest like this after your decision you can understand so please do like this okay and here you need to provide like id so what is the id name delete size okay same id here is a class but here is the same id and we need to conk it like a i so you can see it here i and we need to put like a where i plus plus so you can see it let's make i inside one value so we can understand how it works so you can better i can explain okay value so here i have put i okay let's go back again and refresh the page so we can see it here i just go back again and i press here so you can see the 1000 i press again the 1000 once you can see it so it's working very well Suppose I can go to here, spec element wise, so you can see it here like i is equal to like uh, here, delete size 1000, delete size 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, whatever you are adding so you can find out, this append is working very well. Now I will click on the delete button, so we need to remove these records, so it's very easy, we need to provide here also id, like, uh, like this, id. okay so this is the id we can get inside attributes once i will click on the delete button so this class again we need to write our code so just you can write bottom code again body dollar body delegates and you can click on the delete size so just you can make it like dollar dot delete size click and function so you can see it here like delete size click and here is a function so first what we need to do we need to get our attributes so where id dollar this dot attributes id okay let's make an alert so we can understand we are getting the data we are not getting the data uh, what is the issue because here where is not highlighting same like Okay, delete size I don't think there's any error let's cut code and we can put here dollar body dot delegate delete size click okay because I made a year spelling mystic this is the reasons no other reasons okay here function you can see it here is a spelling mystic function so you can see it proper where now okay let's make an alert so we can understand is the ID we are getting or not getting so just you can put it like alert here alert id just you can save these files and just go back again and refresh the page after click on the add okay what's the errors let's see one error generated here id it was not defined because of okay because we need to put here i not id because i made a mistake okay i because whatever i here using this i we have put here so let's go back again and we can check now just go back again and refresh the page and now no any errors click on the ads so is adding working very well you can see it and also i press delete button so you can see it like 1000 1000 once you can see it so we are always get his id so we have get for this id 
so just we need to write one condition means uh, one line code like dollar hash because uh, we have put id so you can see it here's the id and we need to concat our id here and dot remove event we need to write here like this okay so it's very simple what i did here first we have put here id so this is the id we write a static and after id so whatever id i here there and this i is the same so i have concat okay this is the id you need to remove and here is a remove event so you can remove it directly let's save these files and just go back again and i can show you let's remove the spec element first let's show you just refresh the page okay and you can see it so here id is a 1000 you can see it like a 1000 also here is the id like delete after 1000 you can see it so what we have did here we have made a concat so this is the id so you can see it like a concat way suppose i press delete button so it's deleted you can see it here i add a like multiple you can see it suppose i can remove this one so you can remove suppose i can remove like first one so it's removed and after is automatic adjust the table inside a html suppose you can see it here so i can remove 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 is working very well like delete remove whatever do you want to write you can write your words so this is the size work like this works suppose you need to add a like multiple size so you can do it whatever you can size type here and you can write a price okay so this is the task i explain how it works so let's remove the value we don't want to show here value and just you can add like a placeholder so look like a better so just go back up and we can write a spelling placeholder placeholder is equal to name and here is a placeholder is equal to price okay same thing you can do it here like a placeholder is because one is we need to make a like a static this reasons and here we can put it price so let's save these files and just go back and check here so you can see it like name and price i press here so it look like better and also you can see it one problem generator suppose i will click here add so it's like a spacing movement so just you can provide like here is a width is just like a fix so it's impossible to move like width is equal to 100 px okay so let's go back again and refresh the page so it's, you can see it like 100 i click here so it's an impossible move let's make it 200 so look like better whatever do you want to like you can like it here okay so 200s after I click on the add so it's not moving like professional way is like a showing here so it's impossible to move so this is the I explain how we can make it size like a add multiple and how we can delete size okay and I hope you can understand everything and next video I will show you how we can do it all data inside database because now all is dynamic is done next video I can show you how we can store all the data inside database I hope you have cleared everything so do you have any questions so please comment out and do you want to like this video so please like and do you want to see like this video more so please subscribe our channel and also I will make a validation impossible to write like this character in next video I will also show you and here also not possible to write character only you can write here is a price this is the condition I will made inside a jQuery also I will make this condition inside a Laravel side like server side but first we can short out inside jQuery so you no need to make a mistake this is the reason otherwise no any reasons so is a lots of thing you can learn how to make a edit product after you can save inside database is a small small video why i am creating because you understand very well these reasons otherwise i will explain everything in one video so you can cut the video and you can't watch the proper video anybody cannot like like a one hour video i will create so nobody can like but i will show you like small small video so you can understand this is the size work is not like here you can use so what your other project do you want to make like this add add delete so you can do it this reason i created just like a 30 40 50 minutes video so you can easily understand okay i hope do you want to understand everything and do you want to have any do you have any questions so please comment out and, and do you want to like this video so please like and do you want to see like this video more so please subscribe our channel and you can share this your friends so you can learn something new thank you for watching